episode with conflicts and Isma. <laughs> Today we'll be reviewing the all new coding jam by Osmo. Now Osmo makes these cool looking games that teaches children such as Isma about coding as well as different things. In this case it's music. Now in addition to that we'll be looking at the coding duo which is an extension part that allows you to go ahead and put different characters into the game. So it should be quite fun to try this out. You ready Isma? Yes. Let's go ahead and open it up. Alright, so these here are two products. Uh, the first one we'll be looking at is the Coding Jam. Uh, now this here is their latest product in which it allows you to create music using the different uh, buttons as well. So let's go ahead and open it up. So what you do need is the base itself which is sold separately. Now uh, the one we have here is an Osmo base so you can just go ahead and buy one of those. Uh, and then over here it shows the different things that you can do so you can go ahead and create your own beats You can add different numbers and different variables and just kind of add on to it And then as we kind of move around what's included is you get an app uh, You get 23 coding blocks a custom storage But you do need a base and an iPad as previously mentioned so on the back here it kind of spells it all out to you It just says coding plus music equals learning and fun so you can go ahead and experiment with different kind of music and you can go ahead and compose new songs so you get different characters and you can add your own beats per character uh, and then you can always share your creation among the different population and yeah you can also get popular with that too <laughs> ain't that right Isma? yeah alright so let's go ahead and open this up now Alright! <laughs> so on the top here, uh, this appears to be the case in which it says Coding Jam. Uh, and as you look around the, ca the case itself, it does say here Coding Jam. So you can go ahead and place it almost like a book uh, on a shelf. So you, if you ever want to play it, just go ahead and grab it and go from there. Now, in the here, it kind of talks about all the things that are included. Uh, in which we get a sticker here, which is really neat. Can't have enough stickers, right, Isma? Yeah! <laughs> uh, and then these here are all the different buttons that it comes with. Uh, so as you can tell, these here are nice magnetic buttons which you can go ahead and customize as well as rotate different things and add different variables among with the numbers. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the Coding Duo next. Alright, so this here is the Coding Duo package in which you can play different characters in the game. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, look at that little picture! Yeah, and another picture! Yeah, it's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah. Cool! Uh, so here is our Coding Duo collectible game card. Uh, so you get these two different characters. You get these nice looking buttons uh, that you can actually implement into the game. So check that out. Uh, definitely nice high quality pieces. Uh, it looks really neat. So let's go ahead and set this all up. Alright, so we're all set and ready to go ahead and play Coding Jam. Uh, so you have practice mode as well as studio mode. Practice mode will kind of walk you through the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to go ahead and use different functions. So uh, just to kind of give you an idea, we're just going to click on one of these here and show you how it works. So we click on the first character and then it's going to tell us what to put. So let's go ahead and grab our pieces. So it's telling us to go ahead and insert that there, and then it'll pick it up, and then you'll hear the music as it goes. Now we're going to go ahead and use another one. So you can go ahead and create your own beats and patterns. Now there's also arrows. Now the arrows allow you to pick different sounds. So depending on which one you want to go with, you just go ahead and click on that arrow. So it actually makes it really neat and it gives you a nice custom approach. So let's click on the check. And then now the second step here is we already have our first character playing his music on the left. Now we click on the green character here and clean off this plate. And it's telling us to use the hand motion right there. So let's go ahead and point it down. And then it wants us to do two of the uh, blue ones. So we'll just do up and down. Let's see how that works. So we'll hit check. So no, it's combining the sounds of the two different characters. So you have the orange one as well as the blue one playing at the same time. So we we'll click on the last character here and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick our own character sound. So we'll do this. There you go. And let's see how that sounds. All 
I really don't like the end part, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it like this, and let's do that. See how that sounds. Let's try that. And there you go! This here is the sound that we made, and actually sounds really neat. <laughs> so you hit check. And then the more you do, the more things you unlock, uh, as well as different characters and different sounds. So it's actually quite nice. Now if we click on Studio, Studio allows us to create our own music uh, and we can share it with the World Wide Web. So let's click on the Studio itself and then we're going to go ahead and click on number one. And from here we select the different character that we want. So you can see that the further we go, the more characters there are, so you have to unlock them as you play. So for now we're just going to go ahead and select on, let's see, this guy right here. And we'll hit check. And now we're going to go ahead and create our own music. Now uh, we can go ahead and use different sounds, like this. And then on top of that we can also even add include numbers. Now numbers will give us like two beats, so look at that. So that's nice. And then we can do a, a different one here. So this here is sleep. So this will kind of pause it in between. And then it will continue off right from there. So up, up, right, break, down. And then just keep repeating itself. Now uh, these here are like sequences. So for instance, if I just click, click that one right there, you'll see that will do a sequence at the end. Break, down, sequence. So these are just like presets that you can go ahead and use for other characters uh, rather than having to spell it all out. So let's click on number two. And then we'll go ahead and select on this purple guy right here and click OK. And then we'll just try a, a right arrow with a slap to the left. <laughs> and then uh, we'll try this one right here and see what that sounds like. So that sounds pretty neat. So let's click OK. So it's like combining, which is pretty neat. And then we can select on number three. So each character has their own sounds. And when you click on them, it'll display a sound. So let's go with this guy. <laughs> Uh, so let's try something a little bit different. So if you want to get an idea of what the sounds are, you just click on it. Kind of gives you an idea. So what we can do is uh, this, and then maybe this, and perhaps that. So look, I put a five. So it'll do it five times. <laughs> so that okay? And this is the song we made. Mm -hmm. So then I can hit okay. And it creates uh, your own record. Uh, shows the characters on there and you can actually share it as well. And we'll hit okay. And then it'll go into our jukebox. Now uh, from here, we unlocked a new character! <laughs> so hit OK. And then uh, there's different things going on in the studio. For instance, this phone is ringing, so let's click on that. So this shows that people are listening to your music, and then here's the responses to it. That's pretty neat that you can actually like interact. And if you click on the jukebox, uh, so this is the one we did. You can actually click on uh, the video maker here and create your own videos, and just do so many different things. Now here's some other beats that I made before. So you can listen to it again as, as you want. And if you share, it'll share it to the World Wide Web. So everyone can listen to it. Now if you click on Jam TV, we can go ahead and listen to other people's music. So for instance, Hot and New.
So that's pretty cool. Like, look at the characters. You got a robot, an astronaut. Uh, pretty much, it's quite interesting on how they did this. So you click back. So you can listen to other people's songs, and then, you know, just kind of get an idea, and you can always listen, uh, click on this here, and see what people think of your, uh, your music as well. And yeah, kind of gives you an idea of what Coding Jam's about. Uh, definitely a lot of fun. Uh, it incorporates music as well as coding uh, into one. And overall, it's a great product and it's actually a lot of fun. All right, so the next game we're gonna try out is the Coding Duo mini game. Uh, literally, the way it works is you use the two characters and then use the pieces from your previous games uh, that you can apply to this game as well. So let's go ahead and hit play. A little bit there you go perfect all right um, so the top part here this here's like a blimp uh, in which you can see your status in the game uh, then you can go ahead and click on training the training module will kind of teach you about the game fundamentals and how to use it uh, so it kind of gives you a basic foundation on how to play so let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and then I'm gonna click on this island here. Now the point of the game is to save these little creatures. Uh, in order to get to them, you actually have to play through the game itself, so we have ourselves a map. Uh, so let's click on the first level here, and click on the Wrigley River. Now, so it says, are you ready to begin? And let's just, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and put our characters down. And then all of a sudden you'll see it on the screen itself, it will pick it up. So we're gonna tell our character on the right here to go ahead and jump to the right and then move up to then we'll tell him to jump again and then we'll tell him to move up another two now for our character here we'll tell him to go ahead and first jump left uh, and then we'll tell him to go ahead and move up one and then create a box and then we'll use one of these special power-ups uh, if you click here on the bottom right, you can go ahead and tell it what to do. So for the circle one here, it just says move up to So use that. And then we'll hit this button here and see what happens. Hopefully it works. Oh no! <laughs> so uh, our character there just fell down, so that wasn't good. There we go. Alright, so let's try this and see if this works. on the water. Alright, now that should work. Success! <laughs> so, we just completed our first level. Uh, it did require some team effort, but definitely uh, shows that, you know, it is possible. Now this says one at a time, so we can go ahead and put the character to sleep here. Alright, so for this level here, we do have to give the character a break, just so that one character can go, only go through it one at a time, uh, just because there's only one opening. So let's go ahead and put our character down first. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and tell this character to go up, and then we'll tell him to sleep, and then we're going to tell this character to move left, and then we'll tell him to move up. And then we'll just give him a number, and then we'll tell him to go ahead and we'll just tell him to jump up. Oh, like this, there you go, we'll try that. Alright, so let's see if this works. Should work. That was level two. That was actually quite difficult. It does require you to think a lot. Oh man, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's try this one last and then we should be good. Um, so let's go ahead and move this character first. We'll tell him to jump up because he's going to jump straight to there and we'll tell him to jump again. He should be fine. Now for our big character here, we're going to go ahead and have him create a box. And then we'll have him move up two. And then we'll have him move left. And create a box. So well, like that. There you create a box to the left. And then move left three. And then we'll have him create a box two. 
there you go. So it seems quite complicated, but I think this should work. Let's see if I'm right. Okay. First player's there. Success! <laughs> so, yeah, that was actually quite interesting. You know, it really was quite uh, invasive and definitely uh, you have to really think about it. Uh, and overall, it's actually quite fun, you know, and you can actually create these different paths and it requires you to think two different ways. But yeah, overall, really fun game, nonetheless. And the more you play, the more things you can unlock. Uh, looks like there's a different uh, stage over here as well, so you unlock these badges. Uh, and if we go in here, you can click on the goose egg, uh, and then we can buy these different things to customize our level. So, like, if I wanted the springing thing, just click done, and there it is. So there's our springing thing, and you can just go ahead and add different things here. So pretty cool, you know, definitely a very unique design, and for something like just this simple, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, there you go. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you had any questions about Coding Jam or the Coding Duo game, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.